As you may already have heard, we are about to be invaded. Trillions of insects will emerge from the ground in some of the most populated parts of the country. They're called cicadas, and every 17 years, massive swarms appear in 15 states, from Georgia to eastern Illinois. They can be as loud as a lawnmower. Ben Tracy is in what could be one of the hottest hotspots, Washington, D.C. Ben, are you ready? <laughs> No, I am not ready at all. I'm looking for a place to hide because we are expecting up to 1.5 million cicadas per acre in some places like this. This is Rock Creek Park in the middle of Washington, D.C. And in a couple of days, you're going to see these bugs crawling up trees like this one. And once they do come out, they have just one thing on their minds. They are creepy and they are crawly with a face only an entomologist could love. I'm an entomologist. Uh, I'm living the dream that all entomologists get to live. Sammy Ramsey studies insects at the U.S. Department of Agriculture. They call me Dr. Bugs. Dr. Bugs. <laughs> <laughs> he was just a bug-loving 14-year-old the last time these 17-year cicadas came out to play. The official name for this species is Magicicada septimdesin. And it's, it specifically means the magical cicada that emerges every 17 years. For some, it's less magic, more nightmare. The cicadas are everywhere, and they are loud. The males are the really loud ones. And that's their way of saying, I'm ready to hook up. I'm ready for love. <laughs> All they want to do is mate and have babies. They live fast and really enjoy themselves at this point. So this is like insect spring break. Oh yes. You can't blame them. These cicadas have been stuck underground eating tree roots since 2004. Back then, George W. Bush was running for re-election. I accept your nomination for president of the United States. iPhones didn't exist and Usher ushered in that spring's insect invasion. This is the big daddy of the 17-year cicadas. Floyd Shockley oversees the National Cicada Collection at the Smithsonian Museum of Natural History. So these are periodical cicadas you see here. He says Brood 10 is one of the largest and most dense population of cicadas in the world. Magic cicada is only found here in the eastern U.S., nowhere else in the world, and no other cicadas uh, have a 17-year life cycle. Scientists believe cicadas may actually use the annual changes in tree sap they feed on underground to tell time. They count. Okay, that's one more. That's one more. That's one more until they hit 17, and then up they come. So these things are smarter than they look. Uh, I would certainly think that. But imagine if your big day... You guys should be married by now, right? Correct. <laughs> collides with the cicadas big year. We were running right into the next issue. Ben Harris and Taya Hyman planned to get married in Ohio last summer. COVID canceled that. When did you guys first realize there might be a problem this summer? I was talking to my mom and she was like, you know, it feels like it's been a really long time since the 17 years cicadas came out. The couple was so worried they called this Ohio entomologist, Gene Kritsky, who has his own tracking app called Cicada Safari. He told them the bugs should be gone in time for their July 3rd outdoor wedding. He also let us know that cicadas are very romantic, so they're not the worst thing to happen to a wedding. Dr. Bugs agrees that romantic is a nice way of looking at it. I'm hoping that we might be able to tweak our thinking about these creatures a bit. Remember that they are lonely organisms who have dwelled in isolation for far too long and be able to connect with them. I think a little less connecting, more avoiding for me, but here's the good news. Cicadas do not sting, they do not bite, they are harmless to humans. And Gail, you're gonna wanna hear this. Uh, some people do actually eat cicadas. Oh, they fry them up, they put them on the barbecue. Yeah. There are cookbooks, I can send you one if you'd like one. <laughs> yes, have we met Ben? Does that sound like something I wanna uh, yeah, do? Yeah, yeah, but I love your story. I yeah, love I Dr. Bud. You had so many good thank elements. I love the couple, that was great. Thank you, thank you. Yeah. And I learned something, I just assume that cicadas sting. No. I just assume that, but no. they don't. They look scary. Uh, I knew now I look think scary. of romantic. Yeah, yeah. Not right. really. Lonely romantic creatures. Lonely romantic, for love. yes. A oh sympathetic view of the cicada. I like that insect. Have a good spring, spring break, break, cicadas. Very nice. Yeah.